What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Nice. More fun, more excitement, more horror, guys, from the MIB Master Toy Museum here on a Thursday, guys. Need some coffee. I've been up all day, guys. Hanging out down here in the museum, getting some work done. But more importantly than that, guys, I have a fun offering for you, for all you monster fans. Migos done it again, guys. The 14 inch creature from the Black Lagoon. They really had me, guys, at the with the eight inch figure but then when I found out that they were producing a 14 inch figure it was a no brainer for me guys I had to have it um, it is practically identical to the to the 8 inch version just larger scale on a jumbo type scale For, for all of you universal monsters, uh, fanatics, and nuts, this is, this is definitely something you have to have. You have to have this figure, or these 14-inch monster figures, in your collection. Um, guys, this was a, a gift from my beautiful wife. Uh, but you could find your... Creature from the Black Lagoon, 14-inch figure, Mego figure, uh, right at movie posters, etc., guys. Movie posters, etc. This is an absolute fantastic figure. You can't lose with this figure being a 14-inch figure. You can't make monsters big enough for me. I am a monster fanatic. Always have been ever since I was a kid. Uh, watching uh, all these these uh, horror movies. And these universal classics. Like The Creature from the Black Lagoon. The Wolfman. Frankenstein. You name it. All of them. Dracula. So this really... This checked all the boxes for me. You know, we look at the... Speaking of boxes, this is a fantastic design for the box. Like I said, I said this with the Dracula uh, video we did on our Dracula 14-inch uh, figure. It's so display-friendly as opposed to the past boxes that we had. And the boxes ha has, the 14 inch boxes have progressively gotten better. So I, I wanna give credit uh, where credit is due for, for me, me going in that regard. Uh, the boxes did continually get better you know, as we saw you know, different waves. Uh, this by far is the best. It's, it's big, it's wide, you can see it, it's very clear. I'm an MIB collector and museum curator. So having this beautiful creature on display like this is fantastic. He's locked in there pretty good. The outfit is pretty much the same. And, and let's bring in one of my other creatures. This is the dark version. Just to give you an indication how big this, these guys are. Look at the size. Look at the scale. Got my uh, dark green creature from the Black Lagoon variant figure. He's in the uh, toy shield clamshell. I swear by these guys. Pick some up. But for the most part, the same. Well, you know what? Here, let me see. Here's here's the lighter version. Let me, let's do this. I'll set this guy out of the way. And we'll turn the box around and we'll do all of that, that good stuff. 
I'll put him right there. That's better. Same color contrast there. But if you look here with the, the eight inch figure, really light, light green, not much shading in the in the, uh, the face area. But here in the 14 inch, a lot of brown matted through that green. I'll hold up. Not as much, a lot. A little more detail in the 14. And that's what you get with these 14 inch figures. Like I said uh, in our last uh, 14 inch video, more detail, the sculptors can do more with these bigger head sculpts. Same uh, chest plate there. The fans here. Fantastic. And and the selling point for me was uh, quite obviously was the figures up with the head sculpt and the, the, the hands. Fantastic. And much just like our our eight inch version. You can't lose though, guys. And those massive, massive feet. You don't have to worry about him not being able to stand. I love the, the one piece suit here. I'm gonna turn him around. You get a look at the back of the box here. This box is just absolutely massive. Try to see if I can keep it all in frame here. That's the back of the box. Same design for the most part. I like the backdrop is from the actual movie though. Good art design of the creature here. I have no issues with that. And up here at the top, you got the world's greatest Mego monsters. These jumbo monsters um, definitely will hit the sweet spot for any monster collector or Mego collector. 14 inch action figure. Uh, I, I'm hearing that it's more than 14 points of articulation. Uh, these bodies are are definitely better, better tooled than the um, the the, the uh, older or first generation 14 inch figures. You know, had a lot of the wob wobbly waist issues. You don't have any of that with these figures. Let's get here. Special thanks, Dr. Migo, Sean Sanson as the sculptor, and Rachel Baker for the seamstress. Your thoughts, guys, your opinions. We have the Mego 14 inch creature from the Black Lagoon figure here at the MIB Master Toy Museum, guys. And I'm like a kid in a candy store. Guys, I'm going to be ordering more of these figures from movie posters, etc. Get over to movie posters, etc., guys. Um, I'm hearing they should be having their, uh, their 8 inch. Wave 13 figures out as well pretty soon. I'm excited about that. I'm definitely excited about this figure. Do you have this figure, guys? What do you think about this figure? Um, I've heard collectors fellow collectors uh, say that, you know what, they're satisfied with the the 8-inch version. They're satisfied with the 8-inch eight, eight, eight version. So they'll pass on the 14-inch jumbo version. Um, I, I respect that, you know. I, I, I respect that. I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I can actually see it from that side, you know, from that point of view as well. But the collector in me 
and the fan of this monster right here wouldn't allow me to pass this figure up. Um, I'm going to get multiples of this figure. You know, guys, how, how I feel, feel about a figure. If I really love a figure, I'm going to buy multiples. Uh, that's just me. Just the way I operate. Yes, we have some uh, toy giveaways coming up. We have some more fun in store for you guys. I know people are going to be asking, uh, will some of the 14-inch figures be getting thrown into the, the prize? Uh, that's definitely a possible yes. Anything's possible here at the MIB Master Toy Museum. Just bringing all the fun to you guys. More fun right around the corner, guys. You never know what we're going to bring out. You never know what we're going to surprise you with. So stay tuned. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.